Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install LD Player on your Windows 10 operating system. So LD Player is an Android gaming emulator which you can install on your PC. So let's see how we can install it. So first of all, just open your favorite browser and search for LD Player 4. Version 4 is the latest version at the time of making this video. And then you will see uh, some results. The result we are interested in is this one, which is ldplayer.net. So you need to open the website, which is ldplayer.net. And once this website is open, you will be able to see the download button here. And you can see it says free Android gaming emulator for PC. And to download LD uh, Player on your Windows operating system, you can choose between the LD Player 3 and LD Player 4. I'm going to choose this one, which is LD Player 4.0. So just click on this link. And you will see that the download of uh, this uh, executable file will start. And once this executable file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this executable file. And then I'm going to minimize the browser. Here you just need to click yes. And the first window which you will see for installing LD Player is this window. So you just need to click on the install button here. And now it's going to start the process of download. And then at this point it's going to start the process of the installation. So at this point you just need to wait for some time until this progress bar reaches to the 100% marks. So I will wait for this process to complete. So now the installation of LD player is complete and I can see uh, these two shortcuts which are created. First one is LD multiplayer and second one is LD player 4. And here also I can see uh, install complete. So I'm going to just click on the start button which is going to start this LD player 4. So first uh, you can see this uh, process is going on and you can see this progress bar which will show you uh, the loading process of this LD player 4. So now as you can see uh, this LD player 4 has been started on my Windows operating system. So from here you can either click on LD store or you can uh, click on system apps. So we are going to click on this LD store icon first of all. So when this LD uh, store uh, starts, you will be able to see uh, many popular games here, which you can uh, download and install. I can also see uh, this PUBG here. So you can download and install PUBG Mobile and then uh, play PUBG Mobile using this LD player for uh, emulator. So I'm going to just click on this, uh, this uh, PUBG 4 and it's going to uh, just redirect us to the google play store and then in order to download any app or any game you just need to sign in with your google account into your google play store so i'm going to here i just need to click on sign in so you need to sign in with your uh, google play store uh, account and then it's going to allow you to download this pubg uh, mobile right now let me show you some of the settings related to ld player 4 in order to uh, go into the settings menu, you can uh, just click on the settings icon, which is there on the right hand top side. So I'm going to just click on the settings option. And here you can uh, choose the, in the advanced setting, you can choose the uh, resolution. If you want to uh, see the tablet mode or the mobile mode, or you want to uh, use it in the customized mode. So as you can see, we have this uh, mobile mode. I can just click on this and then when I save it, it's going to relaunch and then it will allow me to play in the mobile mode. Otherwise, you can play uh, in those uh, tablet modes also. Also, you can choose how many cores you want to use. So here I have uh, the option of only one core, but it totally depends on the uh, memory available in your operating system. Now we have the RAM which is recommended which is 4096 uh, megabyte for me. Uh, you can also change this uh, to the higher value if you see this value here. Also you have the disk management 
uh, by default it's set automatically expand when there is not enough space which is the correct setting now when you go to the model uh, menu here you will be able to see the IMEI and then the manufacturer of your LD player 4 emulator also you have the model option so you can see under the model I have SM G970N which is a preset model you can also choose other models from here which are shown in this menu so there are so many men, men, uh, models here you can choose one of them from here also you have the frame rate here so by default it's 90 fps for me you can change it anytime to 120 fps from here then we are going to go to the game settings and you can see rate setup so by default it's uh, 60 fps but you can always increase it and then you have some advanced options here in the audio it's uh, very simple if you want to use your uh, primary sound capture device which is by default your uh, uh, laptop's microphone then just click on this otherwise if you have any external microphone then you can choose the microphone from here same for the speaker so if you have external speaker here you can choose that speaker from here network uh, mostly uh, i just leave it as default you can also enable this uh, network bridging also and then you can provide all these settings here but right now i just uh, leave it as default then we have the shortcuts you can change all those shortcuts you have the wallpapers so if you want to change any wallpapers from here you can change it and then we have the other settings so here you can change the language and then uh, you have all these other settings so if you are happy with all these settings then uh, just click on save and you are ready to uh, play games and use ld player 4 emulator also you can see some more options related to the audio or your screen here so if you want to let's say video record your uh, gameplay you can choose this option if you want to have a screenshot you can uh, choose uh, this option so all these options which are available on the normal mobile are also available on this ld player 4 emulator so this is how you can download and install ld player 4 on your windows operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video